call me.
Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. My name is Maureen. Welcome to Barbell Strength. I am filling in for Linda today. So if you are new to me, welcome. If you are expecting Linda, she will be back next week and um, just having a little break today. So um, we are going to get started. This is Barbell Strength. I'm going to start the warm up and we will get started in just a moment. I have a few weight choices today. I have a heavy, medium, and light for me. I don't know what you have at home, so I am going to do some modifications to help you out if you don't have a bunch of sets of weights, like a lot of us don't have that. But if you do, great. Use the weights that you have, and let's get started. I'm gonna start the music, and we'll chat some more as we warm up. All right, let's start by warming up our bodies in a nice wide stance. Take a big breath in, coming down deep, and release it out, opening up the shoulders, down, down. So we're basically going into a little bit of a slow squat, down and up, nice and slow. Warming up, checking in. This warm up is the check in for what your body is gonna ask of you today. As you see, I've started speeding things up. Down, down, and up, up. One more, down, down, and up, up. March it out. Let's bring the shoulders forward. Bring them back. Bring them forward. Bring them back, bigger march. Bigger arms, bigger legs. Warming up the feet, the hips, the shoulders, everything getting loosened up. Stay here for four, three, two, toe tap front, tap and reach, stretching out the shoulders. Stay here for four, three, two, back to a march. Make it a wide march. We're gonna reach up and over, starting on that right side. Lift it up, up and over, stretching out the sides of the body. Nice reach. Four, three, two, last one. Come to the center, big breath in, back to that squat. Release it out, coming down into the squat. So while you're doing this, I just wanna do a little bit of a demo. As you're squatting, that bum is reaching behind. Knees are not dropping first. You're coming with that hinge at the hips. All right. Big breath up, release it out. One more right here. And we're gonna stretch it up. Stretch it up to the top. All right, we're gonna rotate at the waist, right here. Rotate, warming up the waist. Stay here, four more, four, three, two. March on the left, march on the left. Wide stance, deeper squat. Here we go. We're down and up, reaching forward this time. Forward, your back is flat. So warming up the shoulders, the glutes, the quads. All right, we're gonna come down and open the chest each time. Down, open. Squeezing just a little bit at the back like there's a pencil at your spine that you're squeezing. Last one. Let's roll the shoulders, big arms. Bring it forward. And release. Let's just wake up the feet just a little bit with a pump. So waking up the feet, loosening up the ankles. All right. Let's do a couple more release. We're going to head into some quad work. Let's roll the shoulders up, back, and down. Now, you can grab heavy weights if you want to have on your shoulders. That is what I'm going to do. Otherwise, if you do not have weights or you're not ready for weights, you can just have your arms up here or down here. Let's set it up. Toes are facing forward. 
Weights are right here on the shoulders for support. We're coming down, bring it back up. So just adding a little bit of intensity to that squat. Down, down, up, up. So watching that you're reaching your butt behind and not dropping your knees in front of your toes. Hold here, stay here. Pulse it. Let those quads warm up. We got more coming up with them later. Stay here for four, three, two. Hold it. Hold it here. Take those weights off the shoulders. Hold them right here. We come down, down, push it up overhead. Down, push, push. So if you have weights, you're making sure that when you lift up overhead, that you are not arching your back. Up, up, down, down, up, up, push. So you should be getting even warmer. Our muscles are nice and warm, blood is flowing. Joints are loose, hold here for four, three, two, last one, bring it up. Set those weights down. We are gonna do just leg work for a little bit. All right, feet are gonna be just past the hips. Toes are facing forward. Squat it down, bring it up, squeeze. Down, down, up, squeeze. So going as deep as you can while your toes or rather while your knees are still in line with your toes. Down two, up two, down two, up two, pulse it. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Stay here for four, three, two, one. Rock this right foot, stay in a squat. Step it out, in and out, in, out. Shifting that weight. Stay in the squat the whole time. So not coming up, out, in. Let this left side burn. Adding arms if you like. Let's stay here for a little bit. Let that burn come. Out, in, out, in. Hips are square. You're down low. Feel that burn. Stay here. Four more. Four, three. Two, last one, hold it wide, you're still down, and pulse, pulse, pulse. Stay here for four, three, two, drop it down, and up, down. So really working those legs a little bit. Stay here for four, three, two, one, micro break. We're on that right side. Bring it down, down in a squat. So that right is gonna be your lead right here now. Four, three, two, last one, bring that leg in, step out, in. So this leg, this stable leg, nothing happens. You're just shifting out, bring it in. If you want, you can add some arms but stay low the whole way through. Let it burn. Stay here for four, three, two, last one, wide stance, you're still down. Drop it down, drop, lift, drop, arms go up. Four, three, two, last one, bring it up, shake it out. Grab water if you need to, it's a little dry in the studio. So I'm gonna take a quick, quick water break. And we are gonna stay on those legs. Let's set it up with a split stance squat or a lunge. Right foot forward, left foot back. Toes, hips squared forward, back heel comes up. This back leg is the driver. That knee's going down and up. Now it does not matter how low you go down. What really matters is that you're not pushing forward, bringing that front knee past the toes. So here we go. 
down, lift. Blow out on that lift right here for eight, seven. See, I got some arms for six, five, four, three, last two. On that last one, hold it here and pulse it. You're squeezing that back cheek right here and driving down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, hold, hold. All right, take that weight. Take your weight. Bring it forward onto this front leg, back leg. It's coming in. Bring it in and out. See how I did not shift forward? My front leg here is really powerful, really stable. Stay here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one. Ha. Shake it out. How are those quads feeling? Hopefully you're feeling it. Using our own bodies at this point to get stronger, we're going to set it up on the other side. Split stance, squat, toes facing forward, hips squared forward, back heel up. Let's bring it down, 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 up, up, nice and slow. So as you're going down, this front knee is still staying in line with the ankle. It's that back knee that's the driver. So down, down, up, up. Let's do four more like this. Three. Two more. Nice and slow. Last one. Bring it down slow and pulse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And shift that weight. You're on this left leg and you're using your core to have to bring that back leg forward. Bring it forward and back. See how nothing changed. I didn't have to pull myself up. I shifted into this leg. It's that strong, strong leg. Stay here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's shake it out. Let's blow it out. Grab water if you need to. That's right, it's dry in here. I will too. Grab your water. A little bit more leg. Here we go. We're going to bring narrow stance. So bring your feet in so they're underneath the hips rather than out wider. They can even be touching. We're going to do a squat with a side leg lift. So a little bit of balance coming in here. Here we go. Let's squat, lift, squat, other side, squat, lift. So your core is engaged, keeping you stable. Let's add some arms. Stay here. Keep it moving. Trying not to lean in either direction, but rather lift. That lift is coming from the hips, burning out the quads. Here we go. All right, we got four more right here. Two. Last one. Let's shake it out. Let's release the hips. Do a little bit of a rotation. And reverse. Blowing your air out all the time. Shake it out. We are going to move up the body a little bit into the arms. Let's just do our basic bicep curl. So grab the heaviest weights that you have most likely and we're going to do some bicep curls. So let's set it up. We're going to come into our wide stance. Feet are out past the hips. Toes are forward. Soft knees. Tucking the pelvis but you're not rigid. Bring the shoulders up, back and down. Palms are forward. Elbows away from the waist. Lots to remember. Let's bring it up. Squeeze. So thinking about contracting the bicep muscle all the way up and then a little squeeze at the top. Right there. We're going to stay here a little bit longer with these nice smooth 
bicep curls. Couple more. Here's the last one like this. When you come down, hold it in the center and pulse, pulse. So right here, you're gonna need to really engage the core, protect that lower back and stay stable. So the only thing that's moving are those biceps. Stay right here for four, three, two, one. Bring it down, straight up. So a little bit of fatigue there before we do another set. All right, watching that swing. Everything is just coming from the biceps. Blow out there. Let's stay here for four, three, two, last one. Bring it down. Let's bring the palms together. Roll the shoulders up, back, and down. So we're gonna add on and do a compound movement. We'll come back and do our reciprocal muscles, our triceps in a moment. But as long as we got these big weights, we're gonna use them. Step in just a little bit, bringing the shoulders up, back and down. We're gonna bring those weights down to the knees as you come into a squat. I'm peeking at you, but you find a spot that you are looking at that keeps your head and neck in alignment as you come up. We're coming back to that overhead press push. Shoulders are down away from the ears. So that's the movement, down, up, push, down, up, blow it out there. You're strong. Controlled movement all the way through. Very precise using the muscles we intend for four, three, two, last one. See it through, finish it out, great form. You're doing great. Let's set these weights down. Grab water if you need to. We are gonna move on to our triceps. So, thing with triceps is some people, they are a little weaker than the biceps, even though they're a reciprocal muscle. So you may need to drop down. I need to drop down. I'm gonna grab some water. All right. And we are gonna do a tricep overhead press. So, set it up, you're strong. This wide stance position, it allows you to support that lower back. We're gonna set it up, bringing the weights up to the shoulders, straight overhead. Make sure the shoulders are away from the ears. Engage your core, brace. Here we go, we're going down. Down, let's pause, check in. Those elbows should be facing forward. Back is not arched, you're strong. Then push, push, so all the way through, those elbows are facing forward. If you start losing form, oh, this is getting too hard. I'm gonna drop down my weight. Little bit lighter weight. So all the way through, you got good form. More important than just making the shape of the movement, make sure you're feeling the muscle right here. All right, you stay there. I'm coming back to my heavier weights. Let's see if I can bring it to fatigue. Stay here. Watching that swing. So much to think about. Stay here for four, three, shoulders away from the ears. Two, last one here. Bring it all the way down. We're right at the center. Step out wide. Again, we got these weights right here already. Let's use them. Let's drop down to a plie. So drop it down, lift the toes, and toes are facing out. Here we go. Down and up. Or down. Squeeze it up. Down. So drop those weights to the center, then lift. So working those shoulders a little bit. And those inner thighs. Compound movement, getting the job done. Stay here, four more. Three, two, last one. Drop the weights down. Let's walk the feet in. Shake your legs out. 
set it up wide stance, same weights or different weights. We're gonna work the front of the shoulder a little bit more. Weights in front, shoulders dropped, then lift, lift right here. So check out those knees, they should be soft. If I came up behind you and just tapped behind your knee, your knee would just go like that. Make sure they're not locked. Blow out there. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one here. Shake it out. All right. I'm going to lower my weights. I'm going to lower weights. You can have lower weights, no weights. Stay where you were. We're going to do some deltoid raises. So toes facing forward, wide stance. Knees are soft. Pelvis tucked. And lift, lower. Lift, hold. Take a look, making sure that you're not in like this. If you are, you need to come like this and shorten the lever and making sure that the hand is not going past the shoulders. All right, with all that, let's go. Lift, blow out, blow out. Stay here for four, three, two, last one, bring it down, then pulse, two, three, bring it down again, pulse, two, three, bring it down, two more, pulse, two, three, one more, pulse, two, three, bring it down, and lift, lift, four more, four, three, two, last one, and roll those shoulders, so that got even on these lighter weights, that got a little tiring for me at the end, we're going to just shake everything out, take a little bit of a break for some water, and do that again, all right, let's grab your heavy weights if you have them, or whatever weights you have, and we're coming back to a set of biceps, let's set it up, wide stance, toes forward, hips tucked, shoulders up, back and down, elbows away from the waist, here we go, squeeze, squeeze, working those biceps, contract at the top, Ooh. four more, four, three, two, watch the swing, release, roll those shoulders, I'm changing my weights, I'm heading over, head for those tricep push-ups, you pick what's right for you, even no weights working on that form, here we go, we're up, shoulders down, 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 making sure elbows are pointing forward, you get fatigued, you lower the weights, or you drop the weights. Maybe not really drop them, but set them down. Here we go for eight, seven, strong, six, knees are soft, five, four, three, two, one, bring it down. Step out wide, we got these weights. We're in a plie, we're going down and up, down. Squeeze up, any size weight that works for you. Listen to your body. Blow out here for four, three, two, last one, bring it up. Walk the feet in, a little bit more narrow. Arms are in front. We squeeze, release, squeeze at the top. Blow it out and plop knees. Stay here, four more, four, three, two, last one here. Let's roll, there's something I forgot. I'm gonna switch to my heavier weights. When we were doing biceps, we needed to do that up and over. All right, set it up nice and wide. Shoulders up, back, and down. Here we go, down, down, lift, push. All right, every time that you're pushing up overhead, you're checking in with your core, making sure that you're not arching your back. 
blow out there. Shoulders away from the ears. Don't make the lift come from the shoulder or from lifting the shoulders up to the ears, rather. Let's do four, three, two, blow it out. Last one. You got this. And bring those weights down. Let's shake it out. We're gonna set the weights aside and do just a little release. We're gonna take the arms. First set up the feet wide, open up the chest, drop the shoulders down, open a little wider. Thumbs, bring them all the way around. So you rotate your shoulders forward, thumbs are facing behind. Then push, so opening up the chest, opening up the biceps a little bit. Let's bring the arms in front, fingertips facing down. Shoulders away from the ears. Bring the bicep, or triceps up, other tricep, and release. That was the little break that you get. Let's grab some water. And we are gonna come down, gonna work the back a little bit, and some core. So if you have a mat, a towel, whatever works for you, we are gonna come on down. We're still gonna use our weights. We got chest, we got back, we got core. Here we go. So I'm setting up my station here with my weights. I might need them all, you never know. We are gonna start with our basic push-up. So you set it up in your best position. Your hands are gonna be set up so that they come out from the shoulders. And you can be on your knees, but if you are on your knees, making sure that you're at the front of your kneecap and not on top of your kneecap. You can be here. If you need more, you're up on your toes. Wider toes, more stability. And we're gonna come down and push it up. Brace the core, down, down, push it up right here. Don't forget, you can have this as an option. Always form before quantity. Let's do a little more here, slow. And three, two, last one. Drop the knees down. We're gonna come into child's pose and stretch it out and release. Flip it over. We're gonna do a little bit of core work. So most of what we've done has had some core component. So set it up. You can grab a weight if you want to for a little bit of extra. All right, we are gonna start right here. I'm actually gonna set the weight down to begin. I'm gonna come back hinging right here. My core is strong. Back is flat, shoulders down, away from the ears. Right here and rotate. Here's where that weight comes in handy. If you want a little bit more, rotate. Your hinge back four, three, two, last one. Hold right here. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. You're ready to add on. Lift it up. Down, down, up, up. Making sure that your shoulders are not pushing up here. And you blow right there. We have four, three. You can be lifting that leg for a little bit more. One more after this. And release. Bring it up. Set that weight down if you have it. Shake it out. Grab it again if you're gonna do this. Another set, bring it back, brace the core, rotate. We're side to side. Stay right here, add legs if you want. Boom, boom. Lifting that leg as you rotate. Stay here for four, three, two, last one here. Bring it to the center, bring it back. Bring it up, bring it back. 
So that is the movement. We're gonna speed it up right here. Adding legs. If you want more, stay here for four. Three. Strong back. Strong abs. Last one. Blow it out. Let's set that weight down. Quick, flip it over. We're gonna do another set of push-ups. Roll the shoulders back, set it up. Are you on your knees? Are you on your toes? If you were on your knees before, maybe try your toes. Even for a couple, we're down, down, push. Bring it up, down, down, push. Again, two count down. The last time like that, down, down. I have to drop down to my knees, speed it up. Down. All right, four more. Four, three, two, last one. Push it all the way back. Go into your child's pose. Hold it here. And from here, we are gonna come all the way down to the belly and squeezing your glutes. Point the toes and lift the lower body right here. Head is facing down like you're holding an orange or a grapefruit. Lift right here and hold it. Lift again and bring it down. Lift it up, squeeze the navel right here. Bring it down. Couple more. Bring it down one more. And bring it down. We are gonna come into child's pose. You have another set working the back like that, but a little bit different. Coming down. Now, squeeze the navel, squeeze your glutes, toes come up. Grabbing that orange right here. Arms are right out to the side, almost like push-up movement. Facing down, lift, lift. All right, we're gonna add on. Lift, upper body. Now, if this is too much, you can drop your toes down. Lift, lift, stay here. Squeeze the navel. Three, four, hold it here. Drop it down, pushing back into a child's pose. And release. We are gonna flip it over. One more time, this time, working some bridges. Have a weight handy if you wanna add on a little bit. But we're gonna come all the way down to the back. Feet are flat on the floor. We're gonna come all the way down, rolling one vertebra at a time. Head comes here. Pretend I don't have a mic. And <laughs> we're gonna have that orange right here. Not letting the chin migrate up and our knees are straight up. Grab a weight if you want a little bit more. If you don't want that extra weight, you do not need to have it. We're gonna come up into a bridge. Bring it up one vertebra at a time, holding that weight here. Hold, hold. Just letting it rest without pushing on your bones, just resting on the meaty part. And hold, 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 bring it down down, down, one vertebra at a time. That upper body maintains that good form. Bring it up. One, two, three, bring it down. All the way down, bring it up. Up, two, three, hold. Down, two, three, bring it up. Up, two, three, hold it here and pulse it, squeezing. Your glutes right here. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it all the way down, one vertebra at a time. Hanging on to that weight. We're gonna do a little bit more core here. Bring that longer lever. You do not need to have the weight. It can be no weight or one weight. We are gonna bring one knee up. Knee, center, knee. So coming back to flat foot right here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
three, two, one. Bring it all the way down. Let's set that weight down behind you and bring the arms out to the side. We're gonna come on up, up to seated, sitting up nice and tall. All right, let's flip it over. We're in a four stance position. Knees are right under the hips, navel to the spine. We have wrist, elbow, shoulder, flat back. We're gonna have one arm, one leg, hold, bring it in. Other leg, hold, bring it in. If you are finding that you're rocking, you can just lift the arms. Make sure you get that form first. This seems a very simple movement, but very powerful. It hits a lot of muscles. So getting that right form is really important. Lift and lift. We have four, three, two, last one. Bring it in. We're gonna round the back, tucking the chin to the chest and release, arching the back, rounding the back, chin to the chest, and arching, blowing out right there, rounding, and arching. Let's bring everything back to neutral, right in the center, flat back, and then roll the toes underneath you, and push your hips up, and stretch everything out. You're in a downward facing dog. Taking your hands, walking back. Knees are not locked, they are soft. They can be really bent if you need them to be. And we're gonna come up, walk up the legs, all the way up. Take a big breath in and release it down. We're gonna come down again, walk it down. Nice and slow, walking the hands out. Coming into a full plank position. Hold this plank right here. Fingertips are spread out. We have wrist, elbow, shoulders, flat back. Hold, walk it back. Coming out of that plank, walking it up. Big breath up and release it down. Again, walk it all the way down. Slowly find your pace. We're going into that plank, walking into that plank. Hold it, hold it, squeeze, squeeze, navel to the spine. This time we're gonna add on. So bring your hands out just a little bit and we're gonna push it up. Two more, one more, and walk it back. Walk it all the way up. Take a big breath in and release it out. One more time, coming into that plank, walking it down, walking it out. This time as you walk out, walk out wider, getting ready for that push up. Hold it right here, hold that plank, let it shake, let it wobble. And we got three, two, you can drop to your knees if you need to, one, and walk it all the way back. And coming up to the top, walking slow, unfurling those vertebrae. Shoulders come up, back, and down. We are gonna stretch it out a little bit. Let's take a big breath in. As you release, come behind, pat yourself on the back for a job. Well done, and open up the chest. We are gonna take our right foot in front and step back. Thinking about pushing that back heel back nice and far so that you're stretching things out. Hips squared forward. Let's hinge forward. So remember, this doesn't move. We're not lunging. From here, we're gonna reach down toward the toes. Brace your core and open everything up. So you're opening up the chest from that position, just opening up, stretching out right here, 
and release down toward the toes back up to the center and bring it up we're going to bring that back heel up and push the hips forward opening up the chest again one of the tightest parts on so many of us and release we're going to take that same leg that was behind and grab it up here stretching out the quad so you can grab your ear put your hand out and release we're going to shake that out that foot comes forward now stretching making sure that you have knee ankle toes facing forward hips bringing up whoops not yet there you go live streaming we're going to hinge forward at the waist so getting that stretch pushing back that back heel really stretching out the calf where you can do that reaching down toward the toes coming back up opening up the chest again down toward the toes and opening up the chest and release we're gonna come all the way up nice and tall back heel comes up pushing the hips forward opening the chest so things are open but strong right here not hinged we're not arched just open and release come back to the center we're going to stay with that wide stance nice and wide shifting into that right side stretching that inner leg coming back stretching the other inner leg and then coming back up walk the feet together that leg that was behind now we're going to lift that one up stretching out a quadricep you may find that one leg is different than the other that's okay that's normal and release we're gonna shake it out let's take the right foot bring it in front heel to the floor toes to the ceiling and hinging back bringing your weight into this back leg knee bends a little bit so I'm looking at you but I want you to find a spot that you can look at so that your head and neck stays in alignment and come in deeper by just pushing your rear back a little bit let's bring the toes down lift up down lift one more down and lift bring the toes down step the back foot in bring it next to the front foot and step behind and lift up we're going to hinge back same thing toes to the ceiling heels to the floor finding that spot where you keep your head and neck in alignment toes come down and up down up one more down and up bring the toes down step the back foot in your feet are side to side round the back and flat back round and flat one more round it and round it all the way up and at the top bring the shoulders up back and down let's take a big breath in stretching out the sides knees are soft and release grab some good energy in and open up at the top let's open up the chest thanking our bodies for what they have done for us today i thank you all for working out with me my name is maureen and uh, linda will be back next week i will be teaching hit on monday at 5 p.m have a great weekend